don't know if this is urid rain or regular rain. Oh shit. Damn it. Yep, it is urid rain. That's bad. That's really bad. Welcome back to the beer mug channel. We're back in urge. Fog level is decently low, but we've got a geyser today. So I'm going to head towards geyser. Now I was thinking there is a possibility that all the urine that builds up on the tenting I built above the geyser may uh, like weigh down the tenting or damage it and collapse it and I saw on the description of the tenting that you can take a plastic bag and gather the urine from it so I'm gonna run over there and try to do that before the geyser starts erupting ah feathers yeah here's the cave so if I have time, if the geyser eruption looks alright, I want to check out that cave. That's why I brought uh, some batteries. Keep my flashlight going. Oh jeez. Oh, yeah. That thing is like totally encrusted. Oh, there's bugs coming out of it too. What's happening? Are those bugs attacking me? Oh, those bugs are attacking me. Come here, you little bastard. I didn't think the bugs hurt you, but I guess they do. I don't think that's doing anything. Why isn't that doing anything? Oh, I took one that time. Oh, okay, I am taking them. <laughs> There's just a ton. Holy shit. I wonder how much this bag can hold. Wait a minute. Shit. The geyser's erupting. It's not this geyser, though. Oh man. It must be the one over by Paracolvin or maybe a different one. It might be one by uh, Hazerville or uh, Orlando. So that means I'm totally screwed because there's no way I can get over there and do anything by the time it stops erupting. See, I'm getting a whole bunch of urine from that. I'll just drop that. I don't think it hurts anything if you just drop like solid urine. Alright, I'm keeping the plastic bottles. So, if the guys are erupting somewhere I can't get to, 
I need to go and uh, go back to the uh, yellow fog collectors and just try to man those and like collect all the year that they're collecting and I might be able to prevent a piss storm by doing that hopefully hopefully I can keep the level low enough that it doesn't happen Look at the fog level. I mean, so far it's low. Alright, that bottle is cached. So one thing I realized doing that is that I forget the, uh, the bottles only have a certain amount of uses, so I should wait until these are closer to being full before I start using it. I don't really want to go anywhere. Here comes something. It's a chainsaw guy. I see him through the window right there. There we go. <coughs> okay, fog level is rising. Uh, since I got a hangout close to base, I'll just search this trailer park again. Yeah, sky's looking sketchy. Fog level's getting high. <laughs> this is bad. Deer are trying to get in.
trap set. I don't know if this is urid rain or regular rain. Oh shit. Damn it. Yep, it is urid rain. That's bad. That's really bad. That just spoiled my water, my rain collector. Yeah, we're at about 75%. Try to cook that up. I think there's a bug right outside. Oh man. Okay, that's getting bad. That bottle's cached. Still holding at about 75%. Yeah, this thing's totally full of freaking urid. Well, this sucks, but it's going to be important toward learning how much we can actually like mitigate this shit. I wonder if I can make another collector. Yeah, I can definitely make more collectors. There, we got two more. Ah, I think it's down a little bit. coming. Not good. We got one of those three legged things over there. When you kill those things, they release fog. Yeah, I'm basically waiting for the collectors to just do their work. I think we're okay.
how many more uses that bottle has. So I'm going to wait until like this one back here is totally full before I do anything with it. I'm going to have to get all of that gear it out of the rain collector eventually. I'm not too worried about it right now. I don't think that that releases any fog. <laughs> Just deer run into the trap. Nope. Okay. I don't know where that three-legged thing is. Yeah. The urometer is going down. Or working in the right direction. So, it is possible to uh, to mitigate the uh, the geyser. So my next thought is I should probably make an outpost in Hazerville and uh, check out that area and also find the geyser there because. It's possible the eruption was paracolden, but to me, like it, it sounded like it was more like in the area of Hazerville, and it gave GPS coordinates, but I don't have a GPS. I don't know. I think that you can get that at the RV, but I didn't see one there when I uh, searched the RV. So I may go tomorrow and, and try to find that RV again and see if there's a GPS in there. I was watching uh, uh, my buddy Steven at Steven Survives channel uh, playing Urge and he found the RV and he found a GPS there. That's why I know where it is. But I've never seen it in the game. So I must have totally missed it when I searched the RV. Yeah, I bet nightfall's coming pretty soon. Looks like our fog levels are good though. What I really need is plastic bottles. If I would have known how important that was. I wouldn't have thrown any of them away. But a big part of that is also uh, hydration, and that's just been pretty recently introduced into the game. I don't see three leg over here anywhere. Got a dragonfly. Something else is coming. Whoa, fuck. Shit. <laughs> bastard that made me jump a little yeah we got the bugs everywhere now yeah running out of daylight I'll check out one more house actually I should check out this trailer park oh you nasty bastard a spider. So that's another thing that's new to me. I also saw Steven fight one of those. I've never seen that before in the game. Oh, it's duct tape.
Bugs everywhere. <gasps> Find a lot of protein bars. Well, come on over. Doesn't seem interested, so I'll just leave him be for now. Just because I know he releases dust or uh, fog when he gets killed. Yeah, fog levels down to about half. That's good. things are like all full. They did their work though. gonna sleep. I think we're okay. We're good. We're down. We're below 50% now. What the fuck? Alright. Got one out here. There you are. Ah, fuck <laughs> off, dear. <laughs> Asshole. Oh, it's a spider. Oh, man. Look at that damn thing. It's coming in fast. Still alive? What the fuck? This fucking deer. <laughs> deer keeps scaring the shit out of me. Deer, you're gonna get killed. Keep running up on me. Alright, I think we're good. So, with enough fog mitigators, or fog collectors, 
It appears it's possible to let a geyser go untented and still avoid a piss storm. But I think I need to search out the geysers now because I think like I said before that sounded like it was toward Hazerville to me. It didn't sound like it was toward uh, Paracolvin. It might have been Paracolvin, but regardless, uh, it seems like they're erupting not just where I am. It seems like it's a random thing where uh, where they can erupt. So it would probably be smart to start building tenting over geysers that I find even though it seems like there's there's actually a lot of geysers and I don't know if all of them erupt or not so it's going to be a lot of resources so we'll see I might do that if I have enough stuff I'm going to start just building tenting over geysers I think that the the one here I think I need to spend some time with the trash bag or the plastic bag and just uh, collect that urid that's uh, all encrusted around it now and keep that clean. <laughs> I don't know if they like back up. Maybe that's why a different geyser erupted because that one was like totally backed up. I have no idea. We'll keep experimenting with it. This is where I'm going to call it for that episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I got an asshole coming. And I'll see you soon. <gasps> I... I...